so uh, the kitchen at London House on the Isle of Wight, uh, they've announced that they will stop catering to vegans uh, because ownership is fed up with their holier than thou attitude. So me too. Uh, I mean, it's something that a lot of people the world over could really relate to. Because yeah. this, As, <laughs> if you're going to stereotype vegans, I mean, they are pretty uh, uppity. They are pretty judgmental. Listen, and, and when think I went, they're holier than thou. Yeah, yeah. They're when extremely went, uppity. Yeah. When I went vegan for that month, I started to get a complex. Let me. Oh, you me. thought you were better than us? Bro. Oh, I thought I was so much better than you guys. Look, look at them eating their meats and their butters. Disgusting. <laughs> you guys disgusted me. Yeah. yeah. Animal fats, <laughs> gross. Uh, <laughs> You are! No, no. There it is. <laughs> Hell yeah, boss! No. No. Oh, hey! <laughs> oh, yeah! Good morning! And welcome to episode 1022 of Hard Factor. It is Monday, August 22nd, 2022. Look at that. 1022, August 22nd, 2022. Lots of 22s on this show. Double Thank you. Deuce, deuce. Double deuce, deuce. Thank you for cheating on the news with us. Uh, I did the math, and we've got at least 22 million streams and counting on this show. So oh, come on. probably more 22s, really. I was looking I at it. I was sending the, the million reaches accolades uh, to the team this weekend. So nice job to our team. Shout out our team intern, uh, Jackson, Al, Eric, Eric's girlfriend, everybody who's who's uh, working the social media. Also, shout out to the Hardo Hot yes. on those millions and millions of streams. Look Most at that. Importantly, yeah. Look Keep at what we've spreading done. Spreading the word. That's right. Impressive stuff. Very impressive stuff. Yeah, thank you. And it's the year 2022, which is really just the start for us, really. It's just the beginning. It is. Just the, be just the beginning. It's just the precipice. It's just the eve. Tip Start of the iceberg. Eve, yeah. mm -hmm. Still on time to retire at 70 at this point. But. <laughs> Always hard factor Eve. What's that, Wes? What's, I said what's, we're, I'm still on track to retire at 70 at this point, but it probably is 80. the beginning. Yeah, probably. Right. 80, but, really. yeah. but not homeless, right. at least, and doing stuff that. we love. Right. So What am I yeah. saying? I'm not on track to retire anytime. No, no. It's not work when you love what you do. That's we're what gonna, they say, Wes. That's right, Wes. So. And we're going to die in the chair. <laughs> <laughs> We'll, we'll do the heroin overdose like Mark's plan is when we hit that age. Uh, OK, today, speaking of Mark, he's got a weekend update trademark pending uh, in the cup of coffee in the big time. The wheel wanted me to jump right back into the fire after week off. Shout out to the fam. Great, great time. Mm -hmm. Family time at the beach. But yeah, I got a whole shitload of news. The wheel knew yeah. as it always does. It's so wise. Uh, Wes has an all American lightning round on deck after that. It's true. Living on the so much lightning news. Ball. Mm -hmm. mm, love it so much news that we got uh coffee and lightning round Look yeah there's a lot of stories <laughs> the weekend was a busy weekend uh and i've got uh finally some good news for britney griner and non-vegans in the tiktok international moment to close it out so those are two people that have been getting a lot of bad news you know britney griner and non-vegans with the bug burgers and whatnot right so a lot of good news a little change nice. a little cha reversal of fortune there in the to close it out today so so it's darkest before the dawn that's right oh speaking of that and food next fatathon that begins after labor day okay the week after labor day Whew. Boom. Okay. we're gonna lose weight again okay so we're letting everyone have a good labor day i weighed myself today and i was somewhat pleasantly surprised i'm like only like six or seven pounds higher than when i ended the last fatathon on Oh, good. Yeah. Yeah. I'm keeping it, trying to keep it within five. It's very tough. Yeah. I'll, I'll keep it within 10, hopefully. Same. Yeah. That's S speaking of meals, Mark. When, I don't know. Um, when you go to the beach now with your family, I've, mm -hmm. I, I realized that I've, I, you know, reached the age probably three, four years ago where when you go to the beach, it's a communal situation. Usually, like the parents or the older people are paying for all the meals. But I've reached the age now where I feel obligated. Yes. to supply a meal um for the group at least once for and sure i got I, and i got fucked one year guess what that. my meal was hot dogs public subs almost <laughs> oh nice now yeah, that's, that's i want to try public subs so. <laughs> oh oh perfect yeah, 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 yeah. that's yeah, smart yeah. smart okay, good i was gonna say and some wine of course yeah, what did you get yeah, fucked with Wes? you got it sounds uh, like you got well bad. i i i um 
I told everyone we should do crabs one night. Oh, and, and I got you bought the bushels. I got stuck with the crab. Uh, my dad crab, got uh, foisted ooh. with the crabs. We got yeah. like uh, oof, like 15, that's hundreds of dollars. Oh, Fifteen yeah. snow crab uh, clusters, yeah. and then like like twenty blue crabs. Yeah, he got the bill for that one. Oh yeah, yeah. that's that's a couple hundo. Big oh, blue. Yeah. <laughs> I, feel, I feel like a cheap fuck when I go. Of to the course beach, they are. Usually yeah. though, Chab, cra- crabs are. You know what? Why are chabs? Which I said I don't know why I called them chabs, but why are crabs <laughs> so damn why delicious? Are, well, no, why are they so damn expensive? As we've oh. covered on the show, arthropods or whatever are are, are the most popular. Like right, they're, they're everywhere. Like, Spiders and crabs are literally by weight, like the most on the planet. So yeah, how, but well, there's also a lot of diamonds. Good. You know what I mean? There's a shitload of diamonds oh, out there too, but they're it expensive. Costs a lot you know? to get them. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, but these people crabs, lose I mean, arms and legs on. for these fucking crabs. People you know? yeah. look. They got crabs in Tunisia. Tree men blue, died for this watch. They got yeah? blue crabs in Tunisia. They got blue crabs in the Mediterranean Sea. Don't be know. fooling us, crab fishermen. Not the same right? blue crab though. I Not don't know same. about that, Wes. I mean, they got blue crabs everywhere now. So they. Not the same. You I blue think crab we're getting... snob, uh, Wes. You're, you're finally having blue crabs this weekend, right? This weekend, that's yeah. Yeah, I'm going over the. I had blue crabs again, and I was like, I felt a little guilty. I was like, geez, I can't stop eating blue crabs. They're so good. Yeah, they're delicious. Yeah. All right. Well, you guys anyway. want to do the news? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Cup of coffee in the big time. So we got a lot of honorable mentions. We're going to have a cream of the crop first, though, the joke of the day. And and I will say there's been a run on extremely offensive jokes in the joke of the day. Yeah, I mean, a lot of them are there's no chance they could ever show up on, on the show. So, Correct. Um, like lots right. of necrophilia jokes and whatnot, which is great. It's Keep fun, them coming. Fun. But um, maybe mix in some ones that won't make a few of our weaker stomach listeners like just quit the show. Like, you oh, know, like if we read them on air, maybe. Well, speaking of necrophilia, I was playing this game with my son. It's like it's like this like railroad game where you put down cards and then you, you have to determine uh, like the judge has to determine which um, which group of cards they're going to allow the allow the train to plow through huh. it's like you know a family or like a like a you know someone who's got a cure for for cancer or whatever it's like apples to apples pill? train yeah but yeah but it's like for kids and one of the dev- one of the devil <sighs> cards was um what you do is try to try to screw the other person you have devil cards and you put it down um and it's like a bad thing like uh and one of them was like secretly is like a necrophiliac no, and that's so my, not a kid's thing. Yeah, it's not a kid. And I, so so what? my girlfriend's like, you're going to tell him what that is? And I was like, yeah. And she, he's like, what is it? And I was like, was, you know, and I had, so I explained to what necrophilia it was. Yeah, yeah, it's when you have sex with a corpse, buddy. And he was like, that. oh, my God. Yeah. yeah dude, so what, we got to run that what, over with the train. It was like, it's like, it's like for 12 and <laughs> twelve and over, you know? Uh, I mean, someone someone made that yeah. game. That's a That got fuck. slipped in. Yeah, yeah. it did. Yeah. Some sick fuck made that. Uh, not a very popular game, whatever you're playing. Uh, like, for example, this is by far the tamest of three back-to-back-to-back jokes from intern Jackson that caused Rad Dad to ask jokingly for a per- permission to have Jackson banned from the Discord. Here, yeah. Here, here's joke. I remember here's, these three. Yeah, yeah, Jackson says, my grandpa said, your generation relies too much on technology. And I replied, no, your generation relies too much on technology. Then I unplugged his life support. Yeah, yeah. That was lots of ageism jokes. Now I didn't yeah. understand that, but Gen Z is big into it. Yeah, yeah. there's I mean, I get I, I, it. I, it's it's a whole new thing, and I had no idea about it until I started seeing the joke of the day from people who are probably, must be younger than me because I, I had never seen any of these jokes before. In my I life. get it because that you, you need the machine <laughs> the machine's technology, uh, and then you know then it was like necrophilia joke, banging a person in a vegetative state joke. Okay, here's right. one that we can play. Uh, this one is from <laughs> Survivor Sean. <laughs> And it says, uh, who's the most popular guy at the nudist colony? It's the mm-hmm. guy who can carry a cup of coffee in each hand and a dozen donuts, mm-hmm. if you know what I mean. Yeah. That's right. He's got the rack. Yeah. Put, put him on the rack. Doesn't need a hand for that. Mm-hmm. Um, hey, yeah, give me so a donut, Wes, buddy. Wes really lit a fire in you sick fucks in the Discord, but, you know, mm-hmm. some some for the show, please. Right. Wes, did you send out secret instructions about the necrophilia, or was it? <laughs> I had no instructions. Okay. I think... Yeah, that's just, I mean, that's just people. What's that's just people letting it fly? Once yeah. it started getting like insane, it just kept going. <laughs> yeah, it, it, that's it doesn't. It, yeah. it, it, it happens quickly. <laughs> All right, uh, let's do some honorable mentions. Let's move on to some honorable mentions. Let's do sports first. Uh, let's just start it off with a motherfucking bang. Leeds United, the official yeah. EPL team of Hard Factor, mm-hmm. is on fire this season. Uh, currently yeah. sitting in like sole possession of second place in the table after walloping Chelsea this weekend, three to nothing to move them to two wins, 
one draw, zero losses. And it really losses. was. It was a walloping of, of epic proportions, yes. honestly. Not only did they beat them three to nothing, they beat them three to nothing and attacked them so hard that the center defender on Chelsea got a red card just from just because that's how many times he had to like take somebody out because he was just having to like commit fouls constantly because they would have given up 10 goals uh, because uh, Leeds just really outplayed Chelsea. It was crazy. I, I, I couldn't believe it. Also, Aronson, the, the forward, who's like a 21 year old uh, American making a huge difference. They took Bamford out. I don't know if he's hurt, but it's good for the team if he's out. And Rodrigo is like a uh, captain and, and, and up top instead of him. But this Aronson kid, he's like 21. He's the one who scored. He actually pressured the goalie into giving up a goal like on the goal line. It was insane. Uh, yeah, I'm going to add uh, a screenshot of that guy. He's it's the first it's pretty it's pretty cool stat. Let me see if I can. It's not loading. Anyways, uh, it's a picture of Aronson and then uh -huh. the, the manager because. He's yeah, Jesse Marsh. They're both American. Both it's the American. first time in and they have EPL another history. Yeah. First time in, e Amer uh, in EPL history that an American scored while playing for a team coached by an American in the EPL. Ooh. So, how about that? We got to get our ass to a Leeds game, fellas. Not only that. Yeah. Oh yeah, we do. They yeah. left Pulisic on the bench for Chelsea, Whoops. and they get smoked three nothing when the other Americans come to town, which is what Mark said. The coach Aronson, and then there's a midfielder. I forget. We talked yep. about him before. Yep. But yeah. So these, it's like the best, like some of the best players in the game. I told and the you, I told you I was thinking about putting a flyer. Lose, lose, that's crazy. I told, told you I was thinking about putting a flyer on USA to win the World Cup at plus 8,000. They've got a lot of talent. I don't think they're going to win the World Cup. It's moved to plus 8,500, but I might put 10 bucks on USA because we're getting I mean, out of that group not? stage. Uh, Let's do it. Lots more in sports. Patrick Cantlay won the BMW Championship again in golf this weekend. That's the last event of the season for all but the top 30 FedEx-ranked dudes who will be competing in the last event of the season, the Tour Championship, this week. And it, you, know, you know what this is? It just proves that The Rock is evil and bad luck, as Wes and I bet on a combined 20 guys in the 68-guy field. Uh, all guys considered to have a chance to win, and we whiffed. We won the week before when I was away from the rock at the beach, and we only bet on, like, two guys. Um, oh, wow. That's proof in the pudding right there. Yeah. The most shocking thing out of out of all this is I, I sent Mark. Um, we were we, Mark and I were going back and forth about just what a ugly dude Cantley is, and I found a picture of his <laughs> girlfriend, and she is. There she is. Talking Good, about her? Well, he's yeah. a professional golfer. Talking about her. Yeah, but Talking even her? for the millions, oh, picture. she is way out of his league. Even, oh, she's hot. Yeah. Like, yeah. that's like, he should have to be a billionaire with the way he looks for that chick. Yep, here, here <laughs> she is. Here's Pat, like, Patrick Cantley's girlfriend uh, proving, like Wes said, it's really you know good to be a golfer uh, as you make a ton of money and can't, can't get girls like that. And Paulina Gretzky, it doesn't matter if you're good looking, because if you take a look at Patrick Cantley, who's certainly not, he looks like he looks like what you would draw as a Jewish guy if you wanted to get fired from your cartoon <laughs> job drawing racist Jews. <laughs> he's got I mean, yeah, he's got he's got the the angular features that, that you're talking about there, the caricature. The caricature. I asked style. Wes if he was Jewish, and he's like, I think so. I Googled, is Patrick Cantley Jewish? And it just pops up immediately. Like, Patrick Cantley's very Jewish. And okay. He, he looks like <laughs> <it>. <laughs> yeah. I can fly away with those ears, too. Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, uh, good for him, I guess. We should have bet on him. He won last year. He won the fucking whole FedEx thing last year, mm -hmm. so we're idiots. He's, uh, a moving... good, he's a good player. Is he, he going is. to the is he going to the L I V or is he gonna stay? Uh, I think he's I think he's one of the guys that really uh, wants to win majors. He's like good friends with Jack Nicholas and he uh, he wants to win some masters. I don't want to make another insensitive joke, but I th think he probably likes money. Moving on to another yeah. sports thing. Uh, the rock screwed me on. I lost my UFC 278 parlay. Great. In the co-main event of that event this weekend, former champ Luke Rockhold returned to the octagon after three years off and had a hilarious and fun fight against Brazilian monster Paulo, Paulo Costa, where he did this at the end of the fight, toward the end of the fight, when he because he knew he was losing, so he just went ahead and did this and bled all over uh, Paulo Costa. Look at that, oh. pouring blood all over his face oh. on purpose. Gross. Rubbing it in his eyes, and then he like kisses him on the cheek and says, "Fuck Ew. you." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's, that's like some Fight Club shit right there. That's pretty gross. Rockhold. Yeah, pretty gross. 
Um, <laughs> he was also exhausted and fighting off heart only like after the first round. And then he went on a cursing tirade after the fight where he told Joe Rogan, like, I'm fucking old and fucking done with this bullshit. So I guess he like retired in like, a OK, yeah. yeah. And that's that looks like a guy who's about to say that when he's doing what he did. Yeah, yeah he's done. Uh, and in the main event, <laughs> Leon Rocky Edwards became the second ever uh, UK champion after he head kicked the current pound for pound number one in the world fighter until the next rankings come out. That is. Yeah. Uh, and one of the greatest UFC champions ever, Kamara Usman, with one minute left in the fifth and final round in a fight Usman was dominating. Uh, it was an amazing KO. If, if you didn't see it, he faked a punch and like then threw the kick behind his punch. So Usman saw the punch and he moved away from the punch and directly into Queer Street. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was yeah. an immediate knockout. If oh, you yeah. haven't seen the viral picture of Usman's eyes rolled back in his head with his with his head laid out on the canvas, it's nuts. I yeah. mean, he got knocked out cold, shin bone to the temple, cold, knocked out cold. It was a lot of discussion in the Discord about that yeah. fight or, uh, ahead of the fight. And Just Jesus loves knockouts predicted called that, it. Yeah, plus three hundred. That, uh, that Leon Edwards are one. He's like the only person I saw. He's, on the he's good at MMA. It. Yeah. It's pretty great good uh, fighting uh, handicap. Got yeah. to get on patreon.com slash hard factor to get those picks. It was like plus 300. Uh, you put a parlay on that. You're talking big odds. Uh, in other mm -hmm. big fighting news, same day on Saturday, the Saturday, huge heavyweight boxing match as Usyk once again uh, in the rematch to like unify some of the heavyweights belts against Anthony Joshua. He, he won again. And now everyone yeah, waits. Yeah, four of the five belts. I think. Right. Or, or three of the four. Fury's whatever, got the other ones, right? Whatever it makes, yeah. And now everyone's waiting with bated breath to see if Tyson Fury will come out of retirement for what would have to be considered, I think, the best heavyweight matchup of the past, you know, decade or so. Uh, well, since Wilder Fury, for sure. Yeah. The, the best one since Wilder Fury, for sure. So um, you saw and, the fight. Well, how was it? How was it? Oh, it was awesome. I love uh, Usyk. I, well, I, I hadn't seen him before uh, the out the the AJ one fight, uh, um, and he he won this one the same way that he beat that he won the other one here. I got a couple of, of like. So Johnson was huge. Yeah. There he is. But Usyk was just like slipping every punch and then smacking him right in the face. Like it was just those two pictures pretty much sum it up. Whoop. Mm. Uh, you know, Anthony Johnson throws a giant haymaker that misses. And then Usyk comes in and just smacks him in the face again a few times. Yeah. Uh, and like Usyk beat him so badly. This is two fights in a row where he's just pretty much dominated both. Uh, that Anthony Anthony Johnson like went on this Joshua, or Anthony right? Joshua yeah. sorry that's his last name Anthony Joshua went on this like weird rant after the fight like he's like it, it, but it, but he ended it by like having to hold the Ukrainian flag so like everybody would forget his little tantrum like you can see <laughs> you stick there like oh my god how long am I gonna have to deal with this guy mm -hmm. and Joshua was like, holding up the flag <laughs> he was giving like these like he's like yo don't get me wrong I'm like I lived a tough life like he he lost. And he yeah. starts going on this weird like rant um, where he like then starts like cheering for Ukraine, hoping that people like, you know, forget his little weird little rant. Anyways, he should fight like Jared Anderson next. He's done fighting like big names. Uh, he, he's an he's a game. What about him versus now. Wilder? Have, have they fought him versus Wilder would be good. But yeah. uh, Jared Anderson's like another uh, knockout artist from okay. the U.S. like Wilder, except younger and up and coming. Uh, also, uh, we're not waiting on bated breath. Fury is going to fight. Yusik, here's the clip that he released on social media. Be honest with you guys, after watching that, the both of them were shite. It was one of the worst heavyweight title fights I have ever seen. It was bullshit. Come on! I would annihilate both of them on the same night. Fucking shite. Get your fucking checkbook out, because the Gypsy King is here to stay forever! Awesome. Yeah, so 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 Fury is he says he says he'll 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 fight as long as the the price is right. So oh, they'll his make cousin price. got stabbed over the, the weekend. Oh so, really? Yeah, his, got someone, his Fury's cousin got stabbed to death. Probably like a monthly thing for the probably Fury. at yeah. that party. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> a bad deal by another relative. Right. And lastly, there was an even uh, a bare knuckle fight card on Saturday. Um, also in the UK, I think, that came on around lunchtime. Then it was the boxing match we just talked about. Then in late afternoon, and then at night it was the OC event. So like, what a what a fight day on Saturday! But in the bare knuckle fight, the main event was uh, MVP Michael Venom Page, who's the current Bellator star. He's like ranked number two in like the welterweight division there. Um, and Bellator allowed him to take a break from Bellator to take on disgrace of a human being, former UFC fighter Mike Perry. And the fight went to a draw 
after five uh, bare knuckle rounds. <laughs> so they decided as a, what they do in that case is they just go to a sixth round, which seems incredibly unsafe in bare knuckle boxing. They're like, <laughs> what's that? They tied. OK, final rounds just to the death at this point. Right. Like what? Are, what are they doing over there? That's yeah. hilarious. Like so no other organization has an overtime round. Like no, someone's just... <laughs> gonna die soon. They're just hoping that they can milk enough money out of it before someone dies. Right, yeah, and they're also sure. probably hoping for a death in the ring in bare knuckle boxing. Like no. true, maybe like not in their event, but like a a, a different bare knuckle death that would draw you. Let's into push the it to the limit. You yeah. know, here's Michael Perry uh, <laughs> with a clearly broken jaw after he won, uh, and this is what MVP looked like after the fight. That's just those are guys after six rounds of bare knuckle fighting. You know? They actually looked better than I thought they would. Me too. Yeah, but, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's tough. tough. Anyways, uh, let's move on to entertainment. Not too bad. <laughs> not too bad. <laughs> Broken jaw. Not too wow. bad. Look at his cheek. Uh, anyway. um, entertainment is the House of the Motherfucking Dragon debuted on HBO last night. This is the Game of Thrones spinoff and mm. prequel focusing on the Targaryen family set about 200 years before Game of Thrones. Supposedly uh, it's good. Yeah. Oh, it looks great. Uh, we haven't seen it yet. It leaked early, though. Yes, I saw that, and, and it people got good did reviews. Did watch it? Yeah. You, did you watch it, Will? I have not, but I oh. but I but I saw that people in the Discord had, and they liked it. They yeah. liked it. Uh, and yeah. look, they vote us this ever since that abortion of a final season of Game of Thrones, and apparently they didn't fuck this one up, as it's getting pretty good reviews. It also has the uh, full support of King of the Nerds. George R. R. Martin, uh, mm. who said, uh, "This is the series I wanted, and it has <laughs> everything. It has everything that it needs to be a successful show successor." So uh, yes. he's pumped about the he's House of Targaryen. The old one. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> He'll stand in those flowers and take a picture, George. Yeah. Look at George. He's, just he's in hilarious. The flowers. He's not, eight years he's old. Never gonna finish his series. Yeah, uh, don't take my picture, sweetheart. Spent the shit like like everyone's saying that HBO didn't spare no million expense. Dollars. Yeah, yeah, they spent over a hundred million dollars an episode. Well, uh, when you so, think when your biggest series of all time, it, so, yeah. right? In in one hundred percent, and also in. they have to come back because it was literally Game of Thrones was was so tarnished by the way it ended, and even HBO must know that. Like it was their most popular series all the way until the final season. And then it just went down several, several percentage points for like so many watchers. Like it was so it, bad that all of their stars almost died from stress. Um, the, the, uh, the right, main, trying to keep it a secret of how the bad the main it was. lady who's yeah. uh, the Darna Daenerys Targaryen or whatever, she had like a one of her diseases came back, like an autoimmune disease, and she almost died. And then Homeboy, who was like, uh, um, he was the other John main guy. Snow. John Snow went to an yeah. insane asylum because he was so sad about how how bad it. Ended. Right, he's like, I have to answer questions all day long about why was it he so went nuts. Shitty? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so they did bad, but hopefully this this makes up for it. Uh, we'll, we'll let you know if it sucks though. Uh, now that's out of the way, let's get to some dirty dogs, some classic dirty dogs. In fact, turns out Alec Baldwin went ahead and hired a private investigator to look into who was at fault for the incident when he shot two people on the set of his movie Rust killing Helena Hutchins. And right. guess what? Turns out the guy he paid said it wasn't his fault. Case closed. No way. So the FBI... I knew it. I knew it. If the FBI, that's good. that's not good enough for Baldwin. He has to hire his own guy. That's right. Quote, I hired a private investigator. The last 10 months have taken years off my life, Baldwin said. Not as many years as the bullet took from Helena, but okay. Right. right. Um, right. And uh, did Baldwin he add that in or did he not no. have the foresight? For he that? just wanted to talk about himself again. Baldwin said the PI came to the same conclusion that, that he had himself, which mm. was that the assistant director, Dave Halls, who handed him the gun and said it was cold, and Hannah Gutierrez Reed, who served as the armorer and the props assistant on the film, are, are the ones to blame, uh, if anyone, but definitely not him. Also, if that anyone, it was, right? Yeah. It was a blameless death, for sure. Right. For but sure. Uh, yeah, he also said it does turn out to be an accident. He does not think anyone will be charged. He said that's because um, after he got the PI results, he said maybe it's I mean, maybe it's the Catholic in me. I have an impulse to say I don't want to see anybody suffer. I don't want to sit there and say, you know, go get her and condemn her. Very Catholic of Alec there. Um, oh, right. Yeah. Good of him for trying to lie his way out of uh, the, the punishment by throwing everybody else under the bus. You know what they say, those Catholics, like, forgive and forget, right? Is that right? Yeah. Over and over and over and over and <laughs> over. <laughs> <laughs> 
They're all about that forgiveness. Uh, here's the thing. Everyone knows it was a horrible accident, but just stop being a dick, dude. Like, stop saying you didn't pull the trigger uh, and making it all about you. Oh, like, just you know what's so off. funny? Yeah. yeah, it's true. I mean, for sure, Mark, you're right about that. But what's so funny is that Alec Baldwin, he is so proud of how he plays Trump. Him and Trump are so much alike. Yeah. Like, it, it, like it, it's crazy. This is how Trump would handle the and they're, situation. And they're both obsessed. They're both obsessed with each other. Uh, right. Speaking of Trump, um, Trump made some comments, of course, about the Alec Baldwin thing. And then Alec Baldwin recently said that he feared for his own life as he thought Trump was calling on his supporters to come kill him, and that he thought that he was going to get murdered oh, uh, by so much some some Trump supporters. Um, how about you just shut up and take the criticism, you weirdo? We know it was an accident. Like. What do you? Yeah, exactly. What's he doing? Right, yeah, just, just say apologize. I apologize. Yeah, just right, apologize. Just and say I'm sorry. Sit a few plays out. Like God. Yeah. Right. No, you're not going to jail for manslaughter, man. But you do owe her family a ton of money because you accidentally That's pulled right. a trigger on a gun that somebody who, yeah, I'm sure they told you it was cold or whatever, but it was an accident. Good Lord. Okay, I agree. Next up, a guy that certainly should not be handed a gun on the set of any movie. Gary Busey had his hands oh, full yeah. this weekend at Monster Media Mania Con. Literally, he had his hands full <laughs> as he was arrested on charges of groping at least three women at the event against their will. <laughs> ah, I would have guessed like 30 from Busey. Oh, at three that came forward. He, right. groped, yeah. he groped everyone. Yeah. 50 that went to the table, three that right. complained about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Uh, mm -hmm. The people at Monster Mania Con thought it would be a good idea to bring in Gary Busey as a guest of honor, empowering him. And then he went ahead and groped everyone with tits at the event. Utah, give me two. Mm. More hands so I can grab more people. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is not the face you want to look up to when you are all of a sudden getting violently groped unexpectedly. That's the Hi. last. <laughs> like that <laughs> choppers that's the last face. my hands a little too rough <laughs> yeah Come on, get over here <laughs> i mean that's the last face someone's ever gonna ever see if we don't keep tabs on this guy uh here obligatory he got major brain damage from a motorcycle accident several years ago statement okay fine but maybe don't invite him to be the man of the hour at a convention where everyone dresses up like sexy vampires we can just let him be crazy at home and not enable him to do it in public settings right yeah, he probably thought he was supposed to do that. Yeah, <laughs> like why are we still well, drinking? Yeah, he's just he's just become his character in Black Sheep that lives in the yeah. trailer in the woods. Like exactly. Just, yeah, let's stop I mean, bringing him around to the parties. You know, I don't know. Himself. All right, let's get to a bit of good news finally. How about McFrickin' Donalds is about to bring one of the most popular sandwiches in the UK to the US? And when you hear what it is, you're going to be like both excited and also wonder why the fuck hasn't this always been on the menu permanently at every McDonald's? Interesting. Um, Okay. Yeah, I am. Well, I am course of talking about the chicken Big Mac. Uh, it ah, I saw this. Yeah. Look at this. Yes. It includes the signature Big Mac sauce, pickles, shredded lettuce and a slice of American cheese uh, and just replaces the beef patties with like two McChickens or whatever. So you get a great. spicy. Too? Yeah, I think so. I mean, look, oh, why? Man. Like they're testing it in Miami, but why don't they just make it uh, a, an option everywhere? You dumb dumbs. Oh, I know. Come on, do it. I also bring bring us the bagel sandwiches already. I tried to yeah. go get one this weekend and they didn't have it yet. Only spoiler in alert. People are going to like it. Yeah. Oh, you oh, could do this. I'll, yeah, I mean, I'll order could, them all at the same time Yeah. with the McChickens. When they were a dollar, you could you could slap two of those bad boys together and you, you kind of make it. Yeah. 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 But you yeah. need to put but some like Thousand Island. Yeah. On there you need the special sauce. It. Yeah, and the cheese too. I mean, just mm -hmm. do it for us, right? You know, like right, right, right. Big, big chicken or whatever. Mix oh, whatever. we're all gonna try the chicken Big Mac, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. hands up if you're gonna try the chicken Big Mac as soon as it's available. Yeah, yeah. right. There you go. Maybe when does soon. it get here? Uh, exactly. Uh, <laughs> speaking of food, we have a new virus alert: the tomato flu that originated in India this May is making its rounds. Luckily, it only affects kids, though. Thank God, right? Fuck those kids, right? <laughs> Tomatoes, uh, interesting. Just also. Kidding. Yeah, well, uh, good that it doesn't affect people our age. That's that's great, Mark. I agree. I thank you for that. News. You all have kids though, so I'm just kidding. I mean, well, no, you know I, they they get they get, they get old. They get it. They get a cold every week, Mark. Don't worry. Yeah. Um, also, uh, tomatoes turns out had a horrible year because of the mm. drought in California. So, uh, actually. 
prob- America is like best time for a tomato uh, virus to hit us. We had a tomato. Revenge drought. of the tomatoes. Uh, the tomato yeah. flu is disgusting. It's also highly contagious. Apparently, the virus gets its name for the red blisters throughout the body that gradually enlarge to the size oh. of tomatoes. You don't get it from oh, tomatoes. Geez. No, it's just like chicken pox, but bigger yeah, right. and it's more like tomato colored. Monkey Damn it. Pox, like, yeah, it's yeah. bigger monkey pox. Well, I saw that kids are getting monkey pox now, too. So it's just these kids are screwed. They're getting yeah. monkey pox, tomato pox, What's all, all the pox. pox. Yeah. A lot of yeah. blisters out there. Uh, more than two dozen 10 year olds and younger have been infected so far. There is no treatment for this new virus that is said to be not deadly, but is extremely painful and is very similar to hand, foot and mouth disease, just with much bigger and redder blisters. Uh, good thing India doesn't have like 15 billion people or poor sanitation. This thing should be bottled up over there. Right. Yeah. Not to, not to put a curse on him, but Pat's kid is definitely getting tomato pox. If, uh, if, yeah. if anything, I mean, he, this is also, everything. he's had hand, foot, and mouth. Like six hand, times. Foot, mouth. Exactly. Yeah. This is also just monkey pox again, because yeah. it also has the same symptoms as monkey. It's pox. just India's monkey pox. Yeah. It's just, yeah. So China monkey dropped monkey everywhere. pox yeah. and now India drops tomato pox and everybody's dropped a monkey pox. Oh, it's pox city. Uh, but that takes us to, let's get off of that. That takes us to <laughs> the cream of the crop. Uh, today's top story is just this meth lady who slipped her handcuffs in the back of a cop car and then fired on cops and a civilian that was like tattling on her with an AR-15 she found in the cop car that she was uh, like being uh, you know arrested in, uh, and yeah. then she had like a four-hour standoff with, with police in Oklahoma this weekend. Oh. Here's the video. No one was killed, so no worries. No, everyone's gonna be fine. But this is pretty she made wild. contact with some people though. Right? Oh yeah, yeah. Well, you'll yeah. see. Home, a woman is in jail after she managed to slip out of her handcuffs in the back of a police car, obtain an AR-15, and opened fire on sheriff's deputies, according to local police. The shocking moments were captured on the car's internal camera and police body cams. On Friday, Grady County Sheriff's deputies performed a welfare check on a woman found crawling around someone's yard while barking, according to the charging documents filed in court. The woman identified herself as 36-year-old Rachel Zion Clay. Police handcuffed her and placed her in protective custody in the back of a police car, according to the court documents. But while deputies were outside the car taking statements from civilians nearby, Clay managed to slip out of her cuffs and access a console in the front seat labeled gun, the undersheriff said in an interview. They say she was then able to load around into the chamber and fire outside the vehicle. Body camera footage released by police show moments shots rang out. Oh, hit, hit him when she wasn't even looking. Yeah, no look. I'm hit right here. Call her Patrick Mahomes. Yeah. <laughs> no look shots left and right. I'm hit right here too, Danny. Hit in the head. Hit in the Our head. console the head. where it actually said oh, gun, uh, and she was able to see that. That's going to be replaced. Uh, we're going to put a no switch shit, someplace huh? else in the vehicle to lock our gun. It's a freak deal. It, it's one of these now. probably... I'm not going to say inside one in a million, but inside you know, where we hold it, it's one of those deals. Right. That's the thing labeled handcuff you know, key. Once it happens, then you go back and try to make sure it never happens again. So there you go. Uh, she was <laughs> very much on meth, walking around barking like a dog, which is why they think she was able to like break her wrists and get out of handcuffs because yeah. she wasn't feeling pain. Uh, she just slipped them right out. Yeah. I'll just break my hands for this. No yeah. problem. And then she was <laughs> still able to read gun. So she was like, this is fortunate. Uh, and oh, yeah. She, she just pointed it out the window and started firing. Luckily, like the bullet hit a tree and fragmented. So there were smaller pieces. So no one died. Like the guy who got uh, shot in the chest. Everybody got hit. Everyone but... got hit by the same fucking bullet, but uh, it was just little pieces. Uh, the cop sense. was just grazed and the civilian had to go to the hospital because he got hit in the chest. But luckily, but it they wasn't. got it out of the skin, right? Because yeah, there's a, there's it was a chunk of a bullet. That's uh, that's that's awesome. Yeah. I mean, it's horrible that those cops kept the gun in the gun compartment that she can reach from the back. Knowing that everyone's Able fine, gun. that video is quite hilarious. Uh, yeah, yeah. And she's she's just aiming a AR-15 and no look shooting, and the guy's going out, right, yes, out too, just, I'm out listening. too. Yeah, she she grabs the gun, like so she breaks her wrist, yeah. grabs the gun yeah. from the gun compartment that she could like fish out from the front, like from yes. behind. The, the grate or whatever. The, yeah, she managed to get the, the gun seat. from the front while in the back of the cop car. Yeah, yeah, then she can only see out the back like window, not the right. window of the side, but the very back 
uh, like a, of that's like uh, over the hatchback area. Correct. And then she just starts firing out of and that window. Managed, which I guess it's not bulletproof. So. Managed to hit multiple people. Yeah. <laughs> just crazy. Insane. I love and she couldn't look down down the barrel like she was no. just firing like right. aimlessly. No, she, she's on not... she's on half a million bond uh, and is in big time trouble. Cops that use uh, the word deal for like everything, you know. Like that was a bad deal. Yeah, and we're gonna, we're gonna have to get a new deal for the, yeah. where we keep our guns. So this yeah. a deal like this don't happen again. Yeah, that gun deal. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> deal is like you can replace anything with deal for some of these guys. Yep. <laughs> it, was, it was a raw deal. It was a raw deal. We gonna it need a new a deal. deal. Today's cup of coffee. You're gonna be filling out paperwork for days. Yeah. <laughs> Go on, get out of here. Yeah, <laughs> it's uh, awesome. All right, cool. Um, and uh, are we gonna have a quick word from our sponsors? Yes, let's 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 have a quick word from our sponsors. All right. All right. And we are back and it is time for Luna on the edge of a lightning bolt, and I do not apologize for that. Oh yes. That's right. It's time for a good old fashioned lightning round. Uh guys, the United States, as we know, is under attack from China and the uh, you know, lethal fentanyl they produce and then, you know, oh, allow yeah. to make its way across our borders. The United States has seen a 15 percent increase in drug overdose um, thanks to fentanyl. Um, in 2001, there were 107,622 overdose deaths. And in, uh, uh, that's up from 93,655 from the previous year. So oh, we're in the around, triple digits now. Oh, yeah. Or six lot digits. A lot of ODs. The- Leading cause of death, I think, for men between 18 and 45 now, like, and it has been for a while, yeah. right? And now, like, now, like, kids are, like, you know, like, 14-year-olds that are, like, just starting to experiment Ooh, with terrible. drugs, like, here and there is, like, oh, Entire that was bachelor fentanyl. parties are oh, getting wiped it, out. You know yeah, what else? With kids. You know like what four else? Four loco days. It's yeah. terrible. It's four loco on steroids, literally. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and, uh, and you know what else is terrible? Because of the fucking uh, big naturals going to Taiwan. Uh, China was like, okay, we're not going to do climate change shit or uh, stop fentanyl. We we're going to yeah. try to stop fentanyl, but now we're not going to stop right. it because yeah. fuck the big natural. They never wanted so, to stop fentanyl. Yeah, so now they're just going to up the dosages of yeah. fentanyl coming yeah, to gonna us. keep killing us. Yeah. Um, but let's not talk about fentanyl. I just wanted to give you those because okay. uh, it's, it's right. depressing. Let's talk about cocaine. <laughs> let's talk it about is. cocaine. It really is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which uh, they put, which unfortunately. Yeah. yeah, I don't. I don't know why they not back in the day though. In cocaine. I don't know. I, it's because dealers use it to step on cocaine because it's an easy. It's a cutting agent that's cheap. It's cheaper. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. So I, they can literally just... give you not any cocaine, but a little bit right. of fentanyl and white powder, and then you're gonna feel the effects of like cocaine, and and they're gonna make a hundred times. Doesn't make the profit. you feel like a, like you're in a hole. I thought they just did it for heroin. I don't know. Maybe no. I don't know what I'm talking about. Cocaine. I think anyway. it's still just strong. So like, yeah. So it's still a good yeah. thing to include as a cutting agent. It's cheap. Well. Let's talk about cocaine because there is a new stat from the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Service Administration that is named the USA's top five states to go if you want to score a nice eight ball. Um, And of course, Florida state stands alone as the state with the most cokeheads. So according to the study, 2.24 percent of this state's population aged 12 and older reported using cocaine in the past year. Um, so 12 and older. I mean, I didn't do, I didn't try cocktail. I was like 22. I was so scared of it. Anyway, um, in Florida 12 is like a, t- a hard 20 though. Okay. So Mark, yeah, I think you, you think it's Florida? Uh, I know it's Florida. Okay. Will you have any guesses? Cocaine. Um, Hawaii. California. Close. No, Hawaii. That oh. state. Which state is that? Colorado. 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 That's right. Yeah. Um, Colorado. They love their coke. You, you know they love snow in skiing. Denver. They love to go <laughs> skiing. We love to ski. That uh, powder, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> fresh skiing. cow, bro. Yeah. Um, yeah, Colorado's the winner. Uh, rounding out the top five are New Hampshire, Vermont, New York, and California. So, so people just didn't interview anyone. They didn't survey Florida. Well, no, I think Florida's more meth than coke. Okay. Yeah, I think right. meth that's is a guy, the, That's a good point, Wes. You choice, gotta. Yeah. Yeah. The uppers cut into each other. I mean, so, they've done Coke, too. They just yeah. are like, that's we not We graduated to ice, Mark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I ain't strong enough no more. I can only stay up for 12 hours on Coke. Um, Colorado that's like also- NyQuil. 
It's yeah. Like, it's like a quill. <laughs> uh, Colorado also ranks uh, high in the delusion when it comes to cocaine ranking among the likeliest in the nation to say they do not perceive great risk from cocaine use. Um, of the state's population aged 18 or older, 48.35 say they perceive great risk for monthly cocaine use, and that is only uh, Oregon and Utah have lower rates. So That's because the they're all three. so fit in Colorado, too. Yeah. They're like, nah. Yeah, they're cocky. Not they're like, deal. fentanyl yeah. can't get us. They feel like they can outfit fentanyl. But I'm no, already at altitude. Right. I've got great I don't fitness. Think you can, though. Not a problem. Yeah. Right. Um, okay, let's move on. Interesting sure. video. That might be the future. Um, this tech nerd named Brandon Delaley, uh, here he is. Um, he's getting a procedure done, and um, what he's doing is he was one of the uh, to wipe that people... fucking smirk off his face. Yeah, he looks like uh, yeah, Ed Norton, he's... doesn't he? A little he bit, like, like yeah. but like really satisfied with himself. He looks yeah. like he has a secret. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, he's a tech nerd. He's probably a lot richer than we are. But he's one of these uh, 100 people chosen to do a beta test for this new Vivo key, which is probably the future. And Brandon chose to insert the key, which connects to his Tesla, into his hand. Um, yeah, but this is oh okay. So like, it's just a new company that's doing it because we covered a like a Swedish company that's been doing this right. for a while. Right. So this yes. is like it's this is Tesla's company and they're like, oh, this new company is the one someone because, opening uh, does this uh, and starting their Tesla with the this is key that's Look inside their shit. hand is the stupid. I hate this. Yeah. Ouch. So what? So the, yeah, I mean, just, it's easy procedure, but ow, it looks yeah. like it hurts. It does look like it hurts. I mean, it's a big hole. It's a pretty big thing. It's not like he's using that there. hand to like uh, do any sort of like carpentry or like cool touch any boobs or anything. Look like how cool he is now. He yeah. just ra wave oh, his hand. And then it opens up. It doesn't even look yeah. that cool, honestly. That hand's just yeah. for video doesn't. gaming. I mean, yeah. it's not like you needed it. That doesn't look that cool, honestly. They should have put... Why no. isn't the sensor down by the handle where, where it can right. look cool? Yeah. Now, he asked now, like, to put the back in... of his hand up to the top of the door. Yeah, he's got, like, gimp hand now. He's yeah, got arthritis. Now he's, he's got to put the back of his hand to the yeah. to the top of the console every time to turn the car on. I don't know. It just would, it would use be cool. my hand. Why can't it just be within Check range, like... He walks now that the chips within his body. It's not he working. Uh, it's not working. <laughs> it's uh, malfunctioning. I, this I don't believe this, it. This doesn't happen to me. I don't know what's going on here. It's never happened before. <laughs> yeah. This must be the wrong Tesla. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, so now pretty soon this is the future though, because you can like program these things to open your um, open your house. You can program them to pay yeah. for stuff. So now people will be cutting hands off before. So we what do you do? It's how do you how do you protect in. it from some guy punching you in the face though? Because you're a nerd. No, you don't. People will be yeah, stealing nothing, your hand no. pretty soon. They can just chop your hand off. Yeah. yeah, they'll be going to the ATM with your hand pretty soon. <laughs> yeah, um, so. for sure. Yeah. As soon as yeah, so once you load all your shit in there, like you 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 tweet it, you're like, oh, finally, finally put everything on my on my hand chip. It's amazing. Yeah. The, what's it called, Wes? What's the name of the chip? Vivo again? key. Oh, my Vivo key has saved my life. It's amazing. You tweet it out, and then somebody mm -hmm. just fucking cuts your hand off five yeah. minutes later. Yeah. They just storm up to your house. And they rip it, out of, your, rip it out of your hand your, or cut it out. Yeah. Your, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they could just rip it out of your hand. They just cut your hand open. Yeah. <laughs> Thank God for my Vivo key. Yeah. And then you just like a fucking mercenaries show up, yeah. and you're just yeah. Give me that hand, nerd. You're, you're handless <laughs> for the rest of your life. Yeah. Like an idiot. Uh, just put it in your, like, sew it into, like, your backpack. I don't know what you do. Just okay. use a key. Just use a key. Yeah, put it, what? It's, like, what? it's not enough that it, it's in your pocket. You can just you touch a button. <laughs> just use a normal key, man. Right. Yeah, right. You don't want to lose it. Lose Why hand. do you have to put it inside your body? You don't. It's the same thing. It's like they want to do it for, for like, you know, credit card chips and everything, too. It's like, no. well, why does it have to be inside your skin? Oh, there's my no, Vivo no, key no. got wet. Yeah, this guy's just, it has to he's be the king nerd now around his friends. Yeah, he can't I go get... in the ocean anymore. <laughs> yeah, I well, probably waterproof. can. Yeah, skin. Yeah. I, I could get I get like the chips that like give you special powers or whatever. But with this thing is just a key. It's, yeah, it's just, just to get into key. his car, <laughs> just use yeah, a key. get into his house and his car and like pay for stuff. I don't know. It's you're going to look like a fucking weirdo. Um, anyway, uh, let's go to Missouri. Will sent me this one, and it is incredible. So a pastor at a Kansas City church uh, has apologized after a rant of his was captured on video where he's just berating his congregation for being mm. cheap bastards, uh, for not buying him a watch, for not donating enough, for not taking care of him enough. So this is from August 7th sermon by Pastor Carlton Thunderburk at the church, um, church at the Well in Kansas City. Mm. Um, and here is the rant. You got to treat Carlton right. 
Yeah. I'm a bottom. I don't want to hear no more excuses about what y'all can't afford. You can't afford it because you don't see the value here. No more. Y'all hear from y'all past that father. I'm over y'all. Yeah. I'm over y'all. Cheap sons of bitches. I'm over your team this mean, mean to a girl together. <laughs> yeah. That's incredible. Yeah. Yeah. That guy's got to figure it out. I mean, religion is, is such a racket. This oh, is what man. we need to be doing for Patreon. You cheap, stupid listeners. <laughs> I, I try to <laughs> do Get it every Patreon. now and then. It's, it, works, it works sometimes. If you yeah, it works sometimes. Them. Yeah. Shaving people. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like these motherfuckers out here that never buy any merch. You know? Yeah. Mm. Mm. Cheap How people. dare you? No Are more. Are we not worth that? No yeah. more. Are no we more. not worth your McDonald's money? <laughs> Well, we're definitely not, though. No, we're not, we're not. Not. We, we talk about it all the time. I seen you at Red Lobster your... the other night. I ain't no, got no Movado. Yeah, anyway, pretty funny. He did uh, He did apologize, but whatever. Who cares? Um, just yeah, what an funny. asshole. That's crazy. Yeah, what a dick. Um, okay, let's go. Uh, let me see. I've got a couple more. I'm going to skip one of them, though. Some guy lost his dick in Indiana because his, this woman came and was he was trying to rape her 14-year-old, and she chopped his dick off. Oh, so, oh nice. Moved nice. by the woman. Yeah, very nice. Chop the rapist dick yeah, off. Yeah. No, no, Gary Busey. No, <laughs> we should just do that though. That should we be should, the punishment. Should... Anyone who rapes anyone and anyone who like pedophiles, cut their dicks off. I think I just, agree. just immediate dick chop in yeah, public. Immediate. Also to mass shooters, I think you should chop them, chop right. their dicks off in public, uh, and right. like maybe make it a little. The painful. dick chop would make people think. I'll tell you that much. Yeah. And, 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 and a public dick chopping for if you got caught red-handed, yeah. I mean that would make people think. Well, then right. make them eat it too, like cook it and put it in like a God, you gotta God, eat your God. own dick and you, you get to yep. dress it with like you get mm. somebody grills it there's like a hot dog stand no right dressings there. just you, eat your no dick. dressings at all yeah. no, no, no salt no no <laughs> you can't put it on the grill real quick like with some you can you can pepper. sear it but no no we're not trying to this guy's got to eat his own dick he doesn't need it to taste good <laughs> Like a, well then like then that, we shouldn't dog. even cook it yeah yeah um all right no cook you just eat it raw raw no cooking yeah. Tartar. Right. This is a dog. weird one, uh, guys. So I guess snakes used to have legs, uh, like 100 million years ago. That's they became, they became these like slithering, you know, devils oh, that we have now. God. No, and, they're so much better without legs. Can you yeah, imagine they, them with legs? They, oh, they'd be, they'd Wait, like, how many well, legs do they have? A lot. They had, four, they had four. Just they had, four. They had oh, four legs. Four, like long, yeah. le like a lizard. Like a lizard. They're basically lizards, but there were snakes oh. with legs. Um, and one man thought to himself, hey, when other animals lose their legs, we come to the rescue. Why not snakes? So this guy, Alan Pan, he's like a YouTuber. He built uh, the dumbest contraption I've ever seen uh, that would give snakes their legs back. Um, and here's the video. Yeah, I'm glad sounds, you explained this. this. Moment I, I just thought it was the Did dumbest snakes thing. really want their legs back? Or am I actually just a snake abuser? So oh, my reputation God. as snake lover Alan Pan was in the balance. She's doing it. She's doing it. So it's a tube. Oh, yes, 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 yes. With the yes, snake yes. inside the tube and then legs on either side. Back. Robotic How she legs. Control the Tongue's legs. flicking. Good sign. Okay, so she got and through it. Now she's just walk. sitting. Look at that. <laughs> and he turns on I the cannot legs. believe this is oh. working. This is the dumbest shit. Oh, my shit God. <laughs> That's like a <laughs> robot lizard. This snake mimics a lizard. It's like totally yeah. comfortable. <laughs> Hey. The, the fact that the snake sits hey, in the tube, like, this guy like thing proves legs? it wants its The legs snake back. has no control over the legs. <laughs> no, it's just a snake in a tube. He just with legs turned the on the switch. Video yeah. of all time. <laughs> yeah. That guy's an idiot. Yeah. It doesn't was, prove it was, anything. No. It was viral. Um, it was, it was so a, viral. People kept submitting that. I was like, that's, this is the stupidest looking thing I've ever seen. Thank that's like me putting. Was. That's like me putting one of my cats in a box on a chair with rolly wheels and rolling it around being like, right. this cat right. wants wheels. Right. Doesn't it? It proves it. Yeah. Cats want their natural <laughs> roller blades back. Yeah. What the fuck is he talking about? <laughs> one guy on YouTube said, we did it, boys. Through hard work and perseverance, we invented lizards. Yeah. So that was pretty yeah. much it. Yeah. Um, also, I found out that uh, 
like I guess th what happened is 100 million years ago, um, this guy did some research and he found that the legs that were destined to be their hind legs, the cells, uh, became the snake's um, uh, external penises called um, the oh. hemipe hemipenes. And oh. this is what it looks like on lizards, these hemipenes. Oh. Yeah. There's they like two, two dicks. Two dicks sticking out. One is for mate, only one at a time for mating. Um, but yeah, pretty weird. Snakes pretty have it's one of the most disgusting things I've ever seen. Snakes used to have Heavy legs penis. and multiple yeah. penises. Yeah, they were. That was they were dark a force. times. Yeah. yeah. They were a force. <laughs> they were a force. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now they're legless and down to one dick. Uh, I think they still have pen uh, oh, two okay. penises. Yeah. <laughs> Um, now I know why they called it the Dark Ages. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was not great. Not great. Um, <laughs> all right. Last one, guys. A Pennsylvania man. This guy. He looks oh, pretty, yeah. pretty on top of stuff, right? Yeah. I mean, he's he's headed towards the, like the black alien. Um, he's yeah, got, it's like, he's... Uh, what is that? Is that a lizard skin or is it? It's like a Mike Tyson tattoo on the side, like a like a yeah. tribal. But then it's underneath that it's covered in like underneath. There's like a, cut, a livered lizard skin. Cover. He's, yeah. he's doing like a yin and yang thing. He's he like, is. I'm two faced. Yeah. This side's my evil side. Yeah, You're exactly right. It is what he's two face. He yeah. also has the eye, the pupil uh, uh, tattooed in there on the dark side. Mm -hmm. But he's such an idiot that he should only have horns on one side. Like, he's yeah. just too right. stupid. Right. It's this is my evil side. This is my emo side. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is my Honda Civic he with doesn't a loud muffler side. Yeah. And this is my evil side. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he definitely looks like he drives a Subaru. Yeah. Uh, like yeah. Um, anyway. <laughs> drives people crazy is what he does. He was arrested. He's racing. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he was racing. arrested because he attempted to buy human remains that were destined to be donated to the University of Arkansas for medical um, sciences. So, quote, uh, dark side was in control that day. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Well, he, he says that he's a, a collector. It wasn't of me. It was the dark side right. that told yeah. me to go get the human remains. <laughs> <laughs> it was either it was either a race or <laughs> or more human remains. I flipped the uh, coin. <laughs> 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 See, there's some hot blonde chick or <laughs> human remains. Um, anyway, so, uh, yeah, he was busted. He, uh, he was buying uh, human remains on Facebook. Uh, from you can do that, huh? Yeah, it's not illegal to buy human remains. <laughs> it's that easy. I could yeah. buy you a toe this afternoon. Look at yeah, this. What? Right. It's weird. Soap check was right. Yeah. yeah. The, the Associated Press said, quote, Paulie, who described himself as a collector of what he called oddities, including human body parts, said the remains were acquired legally when first contacted by police when they found out. Um, and then police initially found what they described as older human remains, including full skeletons they determined were legally obtained. However, after the second tip about newer remains, investigators returned to the house to find more recent purchases, and they found three five-gallon buckets containing assorted body parts, including of children, and federal and state law enforcement agents uh, intercepted packages addressed to Polly from the Arkansas woman. So what is he doing, that, jerking off on these things? Oh, yeah, yeah probably, yeah. I mean, oh, I, yeah. you know. Sniffing them? I don't know what he's doing. He says he Why collects he have, them. Look, he, is it for like a got, Halloween party? You can't He's be buying fresh body parts. You yeah. can't be collecting all these dead bodies, man. And That's part of them are kids. Part of oh, them, like, come on. Yeah, from this woman in Arkansas. Yeah. You got to get them out of here. Yeah. So yeah. I don't know if it's a crime or not, but just keep them in jail it's, while you write the crime for it. And then and then yeah. and then convict them of it, because that's horrible. Yeah. It's a red flag, right? You know, you don't. Right. You know, yeah. the next step is he's going to create his own body parts. Exactly. When he can't find them. Online, he's going to kill some people and create his own body parts, right? That's You're right. obsessed with human remains. It, it can only go one way, badly. Right. That's right. Yeah. But he paid four four thousand bucks to this woman on Facebook uh, for these body parts, and I don't know how you even go about. I don't know how they connected, honestly. I mean, that's just maybe it's trade. just a phase. Yeah, maybe it's just a phase. No, <laughs> no he's no, committed. No. no, he's committed. No. <laughs> <laughs> Evil Subaru. Uh, that's it. That's the that's the landing room. Nice. Look at that. All right. Well, thank you, Wes, for explaining all those to me. I I seriously was confused about the snake one. Like I was really didn't un understand what was happening there. So no, it's as dumb know. as is as dumb as you think. Dumb yeah. as you thought. Turns out, turns out it is. Should we do another sponsor thing here? Yes. Yeah. Let's uh, take another quick break to hear from our sponsors today. All right, and we're back. Which brings us to the final segment of the day. It's time for the TikTok International Moment. That's right. 
Thank you, Darcel. Uh, today's TikTok International Moment has us going back to the same places that I've been going to on this TikTok International Moment run so far. Russia and England. A lot of Russian and English news coming out these last couple of weeks. Mm-hmm. Uh, so first up, Russia, uh, where the U.S. government is finally wising up and, uh, you know, just a little bit, not all the way, a little bit enough and sending in our best shot to deal with the Brittany Griner situation. You guys know who I'm talking Could it about. Be, I think I know. Tell us. Uh, uh, Dennis Rodman. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Then of course it's Dennis right there. Mark, of course, of course it was. You, Why you did we know. wait so long? <laughs> you did know. I, I, we're, we're, we're fools. We're fools. Uh, Dennis, Dennis said this week, he said, just let it go. Just let it go. Yeah. I got permission to go to Russia and help that girl. Uh, he, he told NBC news that at a restaurant in DC, he said, I'm trying to go this week. So Rodman yeah. is ready. Uh, the pictures I showed you guys there, this is uh, Dennis in uh, May of this year. When he crashed a uh, influencer uh, party in Miami, he's just shirtless partying with uh, the influencers what, there. Wait, pull that picture up. What's his body his looks great, but look at his face. Face yeah, what's like, with his lips. Yeah, what's up with well, the skin? He's, he's got a lot of piercings on the lips. He's so got maybe some that's sheen taking, to his face. Like, maybe that's oh, taking some toll, you know. Yeah. So yeah, so he's yeah. got a little bit of a sheen. He's got. He's probably got to use a lot of lotions. He's to keep turning into Morgan Freeman. Yes, yeah, his face looks like Morgan Freeman. <laughs> A little bit. Yeah, a little bit. But hey, Dennis is getting older. All right. Yeah, he is. Here he is in the Larry Bird jersey celebrating some kind of thing. He's, he's looking all right. All right. He's wearing enormous sunglasses now. I think that's part of the age. Um, yeah. so anyways, that's what he told uh, uh, NBC. Is he going to uh, just go in and swap for Brittany Griner? It's like a double. He's just going to get her. He's just going to get her, Mark. Don't worry. Rodman has, of course, done some unofficial U.S. diplomacy uh, in the past with Kim Jong Un in North Korea. Of course, his his boy, <laughs> who he goes and you know bangs uh, people in front of, probably allegedly. Um, and uh, Putin in the past as well. He's he's met Putin. Uh, he's like Seagal, except he actually comes home since he's still not wanted by the FBI. Yeah, except right? he he's trying to like at least like trying to get Brittany Griner back, trying to work on negotiations with you. Seagal, Seagal's more defecting. American. Seagal just right, wants right. to be Russian. He wants to be. Yeah. yeah. So Rodman's like Seagal who hasn't defected yet, but yes. it's coming. One day it's coming. Yeah. Uh, Rodman has previously described Putin as quote unquote cool in uh, 2014. Uh, and he ended his lunch with uh, NBC uh, this last week uh, by laughing and uh, saying ominously, uh, <laughs> I know Putin too well. (laughs) (laughs) So if you're a worker in or around the Kremlin area of Moscow, clear your schedule. Mr. Rodman is coming to town. Uh, And, uh, you know, we wish we wish the worm good luck. on. They're just going to arrest him, right? No, no, no. He's 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 partying with Vlad. If Putin was as hardcore of a like a bad guy that he would just shoot Robin in the head. That's what I'm saying. Like they're going to they're going to detain him too, right? Rodman's his boy. No, they're right, just but gonna... it, is it like insulting to Putin to think that this like ba- weird basketball player can come talk him out of his whole plan? It's in- extremely insulting, <laughs> but it's, <laughs> it's very Rodman. insulting. Yeah, it's Dennis, it's the worm. It, the worm is the worm loves authoritarian nations. He, he it's one of his favorite things, and he's boys with all the leaders of them. But are they going to let him do drugs there because he's going to want it? Because he's going to go to the he's going to go to the Kremlin party. Yeah, Yeah, exactly. He's he's going to go to a a wild party. It's going to be an awesome time. He's going to and then at the end he's going to forget all about Britney Griner. Oh, for sure. But at the end he's going to be like, oh shit, I almost forgot when I was banging all these tens, Vladimir. Hey, you think I could get that girl back? And he's going to be like, no. And then he's going to be like, oh shit. Well, at least I asked. All right, later. Not until Merchant of Death. (laughs) Okay, cool. (laughs) Yeah. So I mean, we wish Dennis luck. Uh, It's bullshit that Russia is keeping her over a vape cart. But also, you know, maybe let's let some people out at home who, you know, for the same thing. Right. Mm -hmm. That's true. That would be that would be good, too. That would be a heroic thing to do, too. Dennis Rodman, maybe not the hero we want, but maybe he could be the hero that Brittany Griner needs right now. Maybe Putin's making a statement like a, 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 a new age artist where he's saying this is what America has done. Yeah, he's decades. trying to teach us our, our own lessons by being a complete dick all the time. Exactly. I think that's what it is. Yeah. Um, and speaking of heroes to some, let's take it to the kitchen at London House in England, obviously, on the Isle of Wight, obviously, with a name mm. like that, Kitchen at London House. There's the Isle of Wight. You guys see that where that is? It's yeah. A, it's yeah. south of England. It's like in right. the channel. Right. South it's of like South Key Hampton. West England. 
Mm-hmm. Exactly. It's Key West of England. And it's actually like kind of nice. Like for English for an English island, it's got like beaches and shit and like oh, yeah. uh, like beautiful scenes. Like it's oh, wow. it's like their summertime place. Yeah. It's so. like Montauk. The Isle of Right. Yeah. So uh the Isle's all right, you know what I mean? It is all right. It is all right. Um, so uh the kitchen at London House on the Isle of Right, uh, they've announced that they will stop catering to vegans uh because ownership is fed up with their holier than thou attitude. So me too. Uh, I mean, it's something that a lot of people the world <laughs> over could really relate to. Is yeah. this as <laughs> if you're gonna stereotype vegans, I mean they are pretty uh, uppity. They are pretty judgmental. Listen, and, and when think I went, they're holier than thou, yeah, yeah. They're when extremely went, uppity. When yeah, I went vegan for that month, I started to get a complex. Let me oh, you me. thought you were better than us, bro. Oh, I thought I was so much better than you guys. Look, look at them eating their meats and their butters. Disgusting. Is, you guys disgusted me. Yeah. yeah. Animal fats, <laughs> gross. Uh <laughs> Barbarians. Yeah. I don't think you can be friends with them anymore. So you do, uh, man. You think you're better than everyone else. I'm sure you do. I've done the vegan before and I I felt I'm sure I felt the same. I just forget it's been too long. It's like Uh, instantaneous. Oh yeah. It's it's right away. Takes three days. The restaurant (laughs) fellas. Here it is. The kitchen at London House. And it's like a nice restaurant here on the island, right? fucking good though they make yeah. amazing pastries the pictures yeah. of the pastries here's here's some of their veg like vegetable focused food which looks mm-hmm. delicious as well yeah, i mean i would like still eat steak behind those, delicious. those carrots yeah. Yeah. right uh it's it's awesome it's an awesome restaurant uh so the restaurant uh posted uh on facebook that they had catered to vegans in the past offering everything from vegan cream teas to special vegan bacon to make blts with which sounds delightful right. uh but when the recent dinner menu, and here it is, dropped earlier this month, they received immediate backlash when internet commenters saw there was no vegan options. See that? So, mm. I mean, they got olives and they got some they got some starters that are vegan, right? But look at these mains. Short uh, rib of beef. Yeah. Confit duck I'm lock looking at leg, those mains. Chicken prov- provosal. Sea bass with prawns. Mm. Goat cheese fig tart. Give me a break. None of them vegan. So, yeah. But they look good. Yeah, they they look decided they, good. Wanted, they wanted to make some money. Yeah. <laughs> Wes, this is so poor Wes. <laughs> <laughs> when the internet exists, everybody's going to let you know what you did. All right? right? With internet comments like this one explaining why there needs to be vegan options. Look, Celine Muller, she says, not really 2022 to not offer one vegan main, especially in the age of climate crisis. So look at look. This is the problem. So, with vegans. Put her back up. Put her back up. Celine. Look how many umblots and dots and and hats on Celine her name. Muller. She, she has like seven umblot extra things. You can't. You can't. You need Celine. like a. You need to handwrite her name. There's no computer in the world that gets her name right. No, you need a lot of shift keys for her. Name. Yeah, exactly. Ungoogleable. Classic <laughs> vegan here with Celine. Command she also, possible. She also has, um, uh, if you notice, she has a French accent on the E of Celine. And German. And a German yeah. umlaut over the U she's, of Muller. She's bullshit is what she is. Yeah. Yeah. Celine Muller, yeah. Uh, both French I can't and believe German there's not a, a Spanish like somehow. little wavy hat thing like a uh, middle yeah. name, Pena. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> over the end <laughs> anyways so that's but that's that celine was not alone the, these are thousands of facebook comments where the, the they're like as soon as one english person sees that they don't have a vegan option then it's just a thousand celines come in there and start flooding them with these comments and so the ownership clap clap back in a post they said we stopped why because we got fed up with the arrogant holier than thou attitude uh, you've chosen your lifestyle. It's not a medical condition that you've been forced to endure uh, through no fault of your own. No, uh, your choice does not fit with our style of cooking. We respect your choice. We expect you to respect ours. They still have uh, vegan options too, right? The yeah, that, starters and stuff. Mushrooms in there. Yeah, yeah. There was, yeah the starters definitely had vegan. They shit. have like all half of the starters are vegan. Olives and yeah. bread and olives oil and, and mushrooms. Yeah, yeah. yeah uh, but uh, but still, fellas, everybody is not happy. Uh, with their choice to cook how they want to and not have any vegan mains. Uh, Even after that explanation, to that explanation, Sonia Wayman, uh, she replies and she says, no vegan mains? And then they (laughs) replied, the restaurant, and says, no, 
<laughs> oh no nope they're just proving they're just confirming their decision over yeah. and over again with yeah. all these comments like this see this is exactly why we did we this. don't want you in the restaurant right. we don't want these mothers we don't want sonia there yeah S- sonia is beside herself <laughs> but guys the saddest of all is is howard a lytham uh he can't accept that there are no vegan options and and he types uh sonia wayman I'd be happy with just a large marinated mushrooms <laughs> going out loud. Yeah. And so just uh, a little bit. They have that on the starters, though. Yeah, they did. Oh, they, oh, they did. Yeah. Well, bring it back. Bring it up. Bring it right, up. Bottom yeah. right. Yeah. Marinated oh, right. mushrooms. Just he's hope he's hoping that, you know, they could maybe, olives they could make it. They could make a bigger version. The bread the looks main. like it's for the for the seven or, or like uh, vegan the starters. Just get yeah. two starters. But, they, but still no mains for poor. Howard. I understand. Um, I understand. Yeah. But comfy duck. He doesn't get it. And neither does Sonia. Uh, You know, Howard, uh, at least they aren't roasting puppies stuffed with snails or charring owls to a grindable crisp to treat gout like all of your relatives did in England, according uh, to newly uncovered manuscripts at the University of Cambridge. So could be way worse. Ground owls. What the fuck was that symbol you put up? (laughs) <laughs> yeah, the, what's well, in the so middle racist. of that building? Yeah, that's I don't know, but that's, that's insane. That's this, uh, this is a manuscript they uncovered of of ancient medieval uh, recipes. Yeah. And and like I just told you the gout one down by by lo- rules. That's a yeah. pagan racist symbol. <laughs> yeah, that's what they used to do in England. They would literally boil puppies or roast puppies full of snails, Jesus. or roast an owl to a crisp and grind it to, to into into dust. So that you could, you could they're like, because their toe is swollen. Yeah, yeah you'll try anything to cure gout. <laughs> yeah, so you'll take grind easy, the baby Howard. to cure gout. <laughs> that gout is painful. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it could be you'll way sacrifice worse. Sacrifice some virgins. Ow, 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 ow. Yeah. Look at that. Some people, you know, <laughs> they just don't know how good they got it. Still yeah. upset. Uh, you know, just take your bug burgers at home and be contented with them. Howard Celine's of the world. Anyways, Amazing. Uh, that's it. That's it for the. That's it for. I'm. I'm with. I'm Real. with the old uh, kitchen at London House. Also, there was an 81 year old caught smuggling five kilos of heroin Saw from that. Africa yeah. nice. uh, through Poland into Canada. No picture though. So. Um, but and the crazy. crocodile that drug that dead body in Mexico. Oh. Yes, Mark. Through there was no swimming allowed in that lagoon, but. And you could see why if you have yeah. not. We're not going to play it now since we've we've made it it's to the end horrible. of the episode. But uh, the, you know yeah, what? Check it out. Mexico. I, I think crocodile. that was a cartel death because that guy was naked. And I think the cartel probably threw him in there. Well, it's a known like saltwater croc place, too. So yeah, it could yeah. be like they're trying to get rid of the body. Yeah. Yeah. Good yeah. Point, Wes. It wasn't uh, a skinny dipping in a crocodile lagoon. No, no the dude's was, like straight. He naked was naked and thrown in there. Yeah. 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 Eating him. So yeah. crazy. Uh, no swimming allowed in that lagoon, though. So don't no. jump in after him. And that's the TikTok International moment. Let's spin nice. for tomorrow's show. Here we go. For a cup of coffee for tomorrow. Oh, it's Will. Surprise. Yeah, the wheel did I not. That was going to be Pat. Yeah. Stop or me. short. You know what that means? There's going to be a Biden gap. <laughs> yeah, that's what that right. means when the wheel does it like that. You're that's. I right. mean, it's been that way. Wes's TikTok. It's been that way. Right. The w is. <laughs> when Wes gets it, it's like some busty chick made the news. <laughs> right. yeah. I'll find it. I'll find it. Some busty can- chicks trending for being busty. I'm gonna look in the Cantley's girlfriend a little bit. Here we go. Uh, thank you for listening. As always, as we said at the top. The next Fatathon is set to begin after Labor Day. So if you want to get in on that, the best way to enjoy it, like with all the content, is obviously be a member of the Patreon, patreon.com slash heart factor. Any of the tiers, you'll get in on the Fatathon chat in the Discord uh, with uh, Greg Riley, does a tracking spreadsheet uh, to, to keep all of our weights. But also, and we'll update know, it this time around on the Friday show. So we'll, we we'll, will, and we're going to be giving updates on the show. Like and there's the prizes podcast. this time, right? Like gift yeah. cards. Prizes, or something. yeah. There's we're we're still working on getting yeah. uh, presenting sponsors for yes. it, but we're going to have pr- we're going to have prizes. Uh, we're going to have people so get healthy and prizes. Exactly, and you can participate whether you're a patron or not. The best way is on the Patreon, but we'll be taking uh, submissions from DMs and whatnot too. So you can everybody win the prizes right, if you're right. a patron. Though. You're only going to be on the official top ten list oh, and yeah. win the prizes if you're a it's, patron. You can. It's we'll, going to we'll, be a wheel we'll update your inside. weight loss yeah. if you're not. But right. it's going to be yes. a wheel game for patrons who yep. are, who have who yep. have who have got to the top. Yep. 
That'll be the final drawing for the prize. It'll be mm-hmm. the patrons who are eligible for each uh, wheel spin. That'll right. be how like the format of it. But right. you can also play along with us, and we encourage yes. everybody to, whether you're a patron or not, because the Fatathon is something we all need from in between Fat Boy Summer to the holidays. Like we figure that out. Like we're just always gonna girth it up all summer long, thin it out, Fatathon, and then go back at it for the holidays. That's Thanksgiving. Right. So mm-hmm. that's just that's that's the hard factor like annual cycle right there. It's it's great if you want to lose some weight. Seriously, it's a uh, it's 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 a fun way to do it. There's some accountability in there, and um, you know it's it's just a you know support. It's a good right. community. At least we're being yeah. honest about what everyone does right. in the cycles exactly. of gaining and losing weight. We're we're putting it right to the to the front, and we're trying to do both exactly. Right. Yeah. And if we do bad enough again, we might need another one. In the, in the spring, spring to get ready mm-hmm. for the beach so you never know uh but this one is definitely starting labor day to thanksgiving this year it's going to be the biggest one we've ever done so get right. involved it's going to be very fun also please share and save our videos wherever we post them on social media but wherever you like to spend your time tiktok facebook instagram youtube twitter snapchat now as well we are putting out video content all the time you know have a laugh tell a friend save it share it we're taking over man just yeah. spread the word you guys are on the ground floor, right? We're marching on together, Mark, right? as right. Uh, Leeds United would say. Uh, and most importantly, get out there and have a great fucking day. Patreon.com slash hard factor. Hard factor. Cheat on the news.